The personal single-seat Copter 1, created by the Swedish startup Jetson, became the first among ultralight aircraft to receive permission for flights in uncontrolled Italian airspace. Jetson recently secured an additional $15 million in funding and announced the authorization for recreational flights of the one in uncontrolled Italian airspace from the local regulator, Aero Club d'Italia. On the same day, the startup reported the completion of the first flight over U.S. territory. Additionally, the Italian Civil Aviation Authority has approved unmanned trials of Jetson 1. Furthermore, Jetson plans to relocate to Italy, establishing manufacturing in Tuscany and headquarters in Florence, near a private airstrip suitable for testing. The site will also host the Jetson 1 pilot school for buyers of this aeromobile. The company has already sold more than 300 units, priced at $98,000 each. Jetson 1 features a lightweight frame with four large bladed rotors controlled by a joystick and pedals, similar to a helicopter. A patented system of cameras, lidars, and software helps avoid collisions, and safety features include an auxiliary engine, ballistic parachute, and emergency landing mode. The Jetson 1 can accelerate to 100 km per hour with a battery life of 15 to 20 minutes and supports a maximum pilot weight of 85 kg. Meanwhile, EVTIL manufacturers have long discussed the possibility of using ballistic parachutes as a last resort safety measure in the event of a crash. However, questions arose about the practicality of such an approach at low altitudes, especially below 100 meters, where the time for parachute deployment is limited. AeroHT, a subsidiary of XPANG, has released a video of a multi-parachute safety system tested on the prototype of the piloted X2 multicopter at an altitude of just 50 meters above the ground. The parachutes begin capturing air just 1.5 seconds after exiting the front of the aircraft, fully deploying at about the same time. They stabilize the X2, preventing it from flipping, and reduce the descent speed to 5.2 meters per second, 18.7 kilometers per hour, before landing. The video published by Aero HT cuts out the moment of significant rocking when the propeller returns the aircraft's nose to a horizontal position, as well as the impact of the EV toll on the ground. The company claims that the aircraft was not damaged, while passengers are likely to survive the crash. It will undoubtedly be traumatic. The landing speed is equivalent to jumping from a height of 1.4 meters without visible shock absorption to cushion the load on the spine. An unmanned flight took place for the vertical aerospace brand's development. The first flight of the VX-4 aircraft took place at Cotswold Airport in southwest England. The prototype was remotely controlled, meaning there was no pilot in the cockpit. The electric vertical takeoff and landing air taxi took to the skies, covering an undisclosed distance and reaching a maximum speed of 70 km per hour. The future taxi was powered by electric batteries during the flight. Vertical Aerospace has plans for its first manned flight, but obtaining the necessary certification is required, and it is expected to happen no earlier than 2026. In one of our previous videos, we already told you that this year the Chinese company, Ehang, conducted the first unmanned aerial taxi flight in Japan with passengers on board. Chinese manufacturer, Ehang, is rightfully considered the world's first to establish mass production of autonomous, fully electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft. Let's briefly go through the characteristics of the aircraft. The EH-216 air taxi can carry two passengers or a payload of up to 260 kilograms for 20 minutes at a speed of up to 130 kilometers per hour, covering approximately a 35 kilometer flight. The aircraft stands as a pioneering technological and product innovation with significant differences from conventional aircraft in key areas including technical architecture, configuration, performance, functionality, operational mode, and flight environment. After more than 1,000 days and nights of persistent efforts, the company have overcome all kinds of difficulties and challenges and successfully completed all type certification tasks, proving that Ehang is fully capable of independently designing, developing, and producing mature EVTEL unmanned products. The two-seater EH-216 aircraft flew at an altitude of 30 meters, allowing two passengers to enjoy the surrounding sea landscape for 3.5 minutes. Startup Pivotal has unveiled the Helix, a one-seater electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft it plans to begin selling for $190,000 in 2024. Seven years later, the company unveiled its first pre-production vehicle Blackfly, and in July 2023, it delivered the first Blackfly to a customer. 
Blackfly does not require a pilot's license, but the creators still require all pilots of this aircraft to undergo comprehensive flight training before flying. Now, Pivotal has introduced the Helix Personal Aircraft using the same technology as its predecessor, Blackfly, but with improvements. The Helix received a more powerful powertrain, additional electronics, and a more comfortable cabin. In addition, new software has now been created for the device, which allows you not only to control the vehicle, but also to perform monitoring functions. The power and propulsion system provide a more reliable range of operational flights. Developers have upgraded the digital electronics and optimized the entire structure for weight and durability. The base price for the Helix aircraft from Pivotal will start at $190,000. Jump Aero has unveiled the design of GA-1 Pulse, the fastest air ambulance capable of reaching speeds more than 460 km per hour. According to developers, it is the fastest form of environmentally friendly personal transport. The deployment speed of the aircraft is less than 60 seconds, meaning emergency assistance can reach any location within a 50 km radius in less than 8 minutes. Additionally, Pulse can land on slopes of up to 10 degrees and be transported on the back of a flatbed truck without any issues. The company already has the first order for the aircraft, so all that remains is to wait for the start of production, along with completing all tests and certifications. Electric Vertical Takeoff and Landing Vehicle Company, Whisk Aero has started flight testing a version of its autonomous air taxi aircraft in Los Angeles. The aircraft is equipped with 12 propellers, six of which can tilt, allowing the aircraft to take off and land vertically. During cruising flight, the aircraft transitions to horizontal flight on the wing. Whisk claims that a full battery charge will take only 15 minutes. The California-based company has already conducted more than 1,600 test flights with earlier technology demonstrators, mainly with its fifth generation model called Cora, on which WISC will continue to fly for research and development purposes while working on the certification of the sixth generation aircraft. The company has not disclosed when it intends to begin flights with the first production intended aircraft and has not announced its name. The Austrian startup Cyclotech has revealed a conceptual design for an air car to demonstrate the applicability of its Cyclorotor 360-degree thrust vectoring propulsion technology to electric vertical takeoff and landing vehicles. CruiseUp uses Cyclorotors as an electric power system, ensuring safety for both the environment and two passengers. Based on 15 years of Cyclorotor technology development, wind tunnel testing, and the experience of over 500 flights of the technology demonstrator, the CruiseUp concept is designed to meet the individual needs of air mobility expected to emerge in the next decade. This opens up new possibilities for everyday activities in a comfortable, simple, and safe manner. A stable individual air mobility becomes a reality in this century, replacing ground transportation with its intensive environmental pollution. Write in the comments which of these flying machines you like the most. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the Kara Show channel. Also, check out our previous videos. See you later.